Hi, welcome to ACCQ Continuing Professional Education, where we educate the mind, the body, and the heart. Now, it's only when you integrate the mind, the body, and the heart where you have true education. It's like the whole is no better than the parts, nor the parts are better than the whole. Everyone should be integrated. It's like we're, what, the, what we're experiencing right now. If one person suffers, all of us suffers. And there should be no casualties as much as possible in this so-called epic pandemic called the COVID-19 virus. So we have to consider also other people, not just us. So stay at home, relax, and let me give you our session for this afternoon. We have here now, since we, we've done a lot of uh, workout videos quite lately, so I'm going to shift now to the intellectual part, which is, we have this actually, the Accounting 101 series, where we, where we brought to you some, a few days ago, the part one of this Accounting 101 series. It's called cash flow statement. Now, this is actually the second part or the cash flow statement part two. Now, if you want to study or review the previous statement or the pre uh, previous video on cash flow statement, there's a link below that you can watch over. But for now, we're going to focus on the activities of this cash flow statement like i said last time we're going to focus on the operations so cash flow from operations now just like i told you last time there are three activities in a cash flow so we have operations Financing and investing now Operations being the first one of the three It talks about the main activity of the company This is where the company earns its bread and butter Kumbaga, ito yung, ito yung pinaka main na, na pinagkakakitaan nila Through their operations of a business So just like for in my example, last time, we talked about a grocery. Now, dun sa grocery na yun, ano yung pinaka, ano dun, ano yung pinaka activity dun? Yung magbenta ng magbenta ng goods. So, ito yung pera na pumapasok doon sa grocery, which is their main operations. So, that one is, ito yung tinatawag ng mga cash payments or cash received from its customers and so this is take note cash received so it means that perang natanggap na nila hindi receivables but cash received no and ano naman yung ano yung yung panangganan ito yung bang ano syempre of course kung meron kang ibebenta meron ka dapat o meron kang meron ka na ibenta, meron ka dapat ibibenta, kumbaga parang puhunan mo. Ito yung cash payments cash payments to suppliers okay, so the cash payments to suppliers this one reduces your cash received from customer, kumbaga Bumili ka ng electric pan, 100 pesos, ibininta mo ng 200, so meron kang tubo na isang daan. So, this will be yung gross profit mo. Of course, dun sa gross profit mo, meron ka pang ibabawas dito. Siyempre, pag nag-operate ka ng grocery, meron kang mga swelduhan, meron kang mga um, employees, no? may utilities, may pinagagamitan ka ng kuryente at kung ano-ano pa. So, 
kasama yun dun sa operating expenses. No? Okay? Now, of course, hindi lahat ng operating expenses is puro cash ang binabayaran. Meron rin tayong tinatawag na non-cash operating expenses na imbis na pinapadag, pinapabawas natin, no? hindi natin dapat sinasama yon kasi wala namang pera lumabas doon doon sa depreciation and now we're going to talk about that in a later video but for now this one yung yung operating expenses let's assume that this is cash so pagka binawas mo yan you will have your net income from operations net income from operations. Kumbaga, ito na yung pinakakita mo, no? Labas na rito yung mga yung mga pasweldo. Ito na yung kita mo. Of course, ibabawas mo pa yung tax diyan. So, yun na yung pinaka ano mo. Yun, yun na yung pinakakita mo. Now, aside from ano, aside from uh, net income from operations, ano pa yung Ano pa yung yung pwede nating mas matawag na cash flow from operations? Yung meron pa bang iba? Meron pa yung tinatawag na other operating income or slash expenses. Kumbaga, ito yung mga ano, ito yung mga yung mga iba pang pinagkakakitaan natin bukod sa main operation na for example, kung if it's a grocery, yung kinita natin sa grocery, meron rin tayong other income, no? For example, nagpapare yung may-ari ng grocery sa kanya yung building, pero dun sa meron merong mga ano yun, merong mga parang space dun sa building na yun, no? Na pinaparenta niya sa mga tenants niya. Now, yung kinikita doon, it's also part of the cash flow from operations. So, kasama pa rin yun, no? So, add mo dito yung rent income. Kasama dyan. Ano pa? Halimbawa, merong investment yung ano, may investment yung company doon sa ibang corporation. Let's say, ABC Masyado ng common si ABC, XYZ na lang, no? Si XYZ Supermarket, no? May investment siya kay San Miguel Corporation. May investment siya kay SMC Corporation na stocks. Now, of course, yung pinakakita nila doon is yung dividends na marireceive nila. Cash dividends na marireceive nila kay SMC. So, isasama mo pa doon, let's say, pagka nakuha nila, kumita sila doon, dividend received. Yan. So, ito mga additions yan. No? Mga additions yan. Now, aside from these additions, meron ring deduction yung tinatawag na other operating expenses. Ano yun? For example, doon sa, ano, doon sa, meron silang, ano, meron silang utang sa banko. No? probably a long term loan for 1 million na nagbabayad sila ng interest kada buwan no so itong binabayaran nilang interest of course yung yung loan na nakuha nila dun sa banko ginamit nila dun sa operation sa business so yung binabayaran nila na interest dun sa banko buwan buwan ito yung tinatawag na interest expense so ito naman binabawas naman yan Kasi ito yung perang lumalabas doon sa sa company, no? So incidentally, ito yung ito, ito lang yung pinaka-common na items doon sa operations, sa cash flow from operations. Now, on the third session, in our third session, we're going to talk about yung investing naman. Ano naman yung mga yung mga elements na kasama dun sa investing. So, just stay tuned for this uh, session and uh, subscribe no? so you get updated with the 
with the lessons now for now stay at home god bless peace